So Ray making the decision to come to Black Mountain for the summer session of 1948 by accident uh, hit on um, the hotbed, the hotbed of American modernism. Uh, there's never been anything like Black Mountain. Uh, and Ray, when he signed up, he saw the ad in a magazine, he signed up and he and they were advertising that the painting teacher would be Mark Toby, but it was a, you know Mark Toby's work? A uh, nice, very nice painter. Small scale, uh, beautiful graphic, uh, small paintings, uh, quite cerebral. And the, the, at the last uh, moment, Toby couldn't come, so they scattered around and they got Bill de Kooning. Bill de Kooning himself, Bill, Bill de Kooning was 44, Ray was 24, but uh, de Kooning was just beginning to have a reputation in New York. He was unknown, but in April of that year, just before the summer, April of 48, de Kooning had his first one-man show, and it was all his, his black and white paintings, which are incredibly beautiful series of paintings, and uh, it was the, his first breakthrough, a uh, very beautiful abstract uh, painting. So then he went, he went to teach. They invited de Kooning to teach in place of Toby. So uh, Ray found himself studying with both de Kooning, the abstract expressionist, and with Joseph Albers, the rigorous color theorist. We'll get into a little more about this dual, the dual influence of Albers and uh, and the cooling.